question come in uh, asking about guitar exercise suggestions uh, to practice every day to increase speed and technique or some good songs or solos uh, that I know to improve this person's technique. Um, first, to really, really help with this, I would need to see what the technique is like uh, and know what the goals are besides just speed and, um, and accuracy stuff for speed and technique because when it comes down to it, if you practice anything you can't already play, that's all you need to do in order to get better. And there's no specific set exercise plan or songs that you need to do in order to get faster and more accurate. All you have to do is practice stuff that takes you out of your comfort zone and just constantly helps push you to be uh, you know, a better player. And even if you get something that's really complex, it doesn't mean you're going to be able to play everything that's complex because you still have to develop the muscle memory for the newer material. Um, I know this is not the most glamorous answer but that is the truth. It, you, if you want to get faster and improve your technique, anything that you can't play will help. Uh, if you would like to give me a more specific goal, like a criteria of something that you are shooting for, I can definitely put together a better plan for that. But I will talk about what I did when I first started playing to work on my speed. Uh, always metronome practice and done videos about how to use the metronome so if, if I remember I'll put a link up to that as well but basically starting off at a slow speed and gradually increasing it to increase your speed uh, you working on increasing your speed without the metronome is it's possible but not the uh, fastest approach because you really can't tell the difference between 60 and 65 beats a minute so making a small adjustment like that on your own without the machine telling you where the beat is is pretty much impossible so that's why one reason why you want to use a metronome uh, stuff that I I would do and I'll, I'll make separate videos addressing how I approached each of these things uh, but just a, a quick overview I used to play the three note per string versions of the modes in G major or the G major scale shapes. of the first shape and what I was doing there just I, when I would play to the metronome I would just do triplets just a one and a two and a three and a four and a and then get up to the top and I pick that last note again and start the descent strict alternate picking the entire time never did any economy picking with this stuff firm believer that if you want to reach your maximum speed playing stuff like this gotta be strict alternate picking. Did videos on that as well. Yes, economy picking can be useful uh, in some circumstances, but well, just watch the uh, watch that video too, if I remember to put the link up. Uh, anyway, uh, did a lot of that. Also, uh, with this minor scale shape here. <laughs> did uh, four note coils, which is going up four notes at a time, so one, two, three, four, then you start on the second note in, go up four, one, two, three, four, start on the third note in, one, two, three, four, and just go all the way up and back down. note 
coils. Same idea, just going up three notes at a time. <laughs> Something that really helped with my finger dexterity was working on three string and five string sweep picking shapes. Learned that in the key of G as well. Uh, basically, this is what I was what I worked on. I can't remember if I started picking down like that or if I started on the up. Anyway, uh, we're doing stuff like that. You can just do one shape at a time and just work on getting that speed up. Probably a good idea to do that before putting them all together. But once I felt I had reached a comfortable speed with that, then I did the five string versions of the same types of chords. Wrong key. And that's what I focused on the most when I first started out. Uh, all that's covered in an uh, ebook that I do have out right now, as well as. Oh, yes, don't want to forget uh, the exercise I did a video on where you're moving one finger at a time. That helped out tremendously. Um, taught my fingers to stay closer to the fretboard, and once I was able to do that and I stopped lifting my fingers up so far from the neck, my speed just, just took off. Um, so yes, I have an ebook out that talks about all those things I just mentioned, so you can get that uh, and get a lot more information as well. Uh, as of the making of this video, the ebooks are still name your own price, and eventually I will be breaking up all the ones I do have into smaller pieces, so you can just pick and choose any of the stuff that you want and leave behind the stuff you don't want also have an ebook that covers like well over a hundred different uh, guitar exercises so this way you can I mean, you basically you'll never run out of ideas on how to push your fingers to do new things so uh, as far as like songs or solos again any song that you cannot play at the moment will be a song to help you get better even if it's a simple song if you can't play a simple song right off the bat, it, you're going to be a better, more well-rounded guitar player after you've learned how to play the simple song. So any song that challenges you is going to help with your speed and your technique. So if you do want a more specific plan, a more specific set routine, let me know and I'll put something together for that. And um, check out the other videos. The, um, the cover the three note per string uh, scale shapes the coils and the uh, sweep picking so there will be tabs up while I'm playing and I'll do it slow I won't get into too much detail because I think it's going to be self explanatory what I'm doing of course if it's not and it's too confusing let me know and I'll clear it up alright well thank you for watching <laughs>